Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about React and Redux. In the last video, we combined our reducers. We only had one, but if we had more than one, they would be a combination of reducers here. And in this video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to set up the provider. So provider and store are two pieces of the uh, of, of, of re Redux and React Redux. So the store is is created from reducers and it's the thing that that holds state and dispatches you know um, state to, to our various components and things and we can send messages to the store to tell it like to make changes to state so that's why it gets the reducers right um, the provider is from react redux and it's a component that we use to provide state to to child components so it passes the store down to children okay to it to its children okay so let's set that up right now and what we want to do is we want to import um, we want to import um, create store so I'm going to choose create store and we want to get this from redux okay so this is how we're going to create a redux store and you can create more than one store if you want to um, we, I, I think, I don't know. It seems like you really only need one for most purposes, right? But, um, but you can create as many as you like, right? And then the other thing we want to do is we want to import the provider component. So provider is a component, and it kind of is something that we work with 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 uh, React and Redux, right? So it ties, it connects the store to the rest of your other components. So this comes from from React Redux. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So now here's what we're gonna do. Um, we gotta make a store first. So I'm gonna say st um, const store equals um, create store. Okay, and what we need to do with create store is pass in our combined reducers. Okay, so I'm gonna import the the reducers from um, what is it? Uh, it's our guy. Oh, it's called. Uh, let's see. I forget. I didn't. I guess I didn't name it. Actually, come to think of it, I was like, did I name that? I'm gonna say reducers from, and I want to get this from the reducers folder. So I'm in the app folder here. So I gotta look up two folders, and then I can get to reducers. So I'm gonna go to. Uh, um, to reducers this way and our combined reducer comes from index so this is exported as the default um, export right here so we're gonna get this file right so I'm gonna get that put it into reducers and then what I want to do is pass that into create store so I'm gonna create store from these combined reducers right here okay and now we can use the provider I should check for errors. I actually did a lot of work there and haven't really checked. So we'll we'll do that um, after we get this next step done, right? And debug anything that needs to be fixed, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is is the provider should be the uh, top level kind of parent component for everything. So I'm going to wrap all this stuff in the provider. Okay. And maybe I'll actually, you know, I'm going to remove a bunch of this stuff too. Uh, maybe I'll just leave that in there for now. Um, but we'll remove it in the next step, and we'll create our own component that uses the, the the application state from Redux, right? So the other thing we do is when we create the provider, we provide the store to it as a prop. So we pass the store in. So there's there's store, and then what I want to pass in is the store that we defined up here. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. I better uh, check and see if I got any errors here. Um, where did I put that? Um, oh, that was the last example. Let me get rid of this and make a new folder here. Oh, no, you know what? I think it was in Chrome, actually. There we go, right? Oh, so it's still working. I don't have any errors yet, so I'm doing pretty good. Okay, great. So anyway, thanks for watching. We've got the store set up. we got provider set up. And in the next video, what we'll do is we'll make a component, and we'll connect that component to state, and we'll allow that component to display state and to modify state.
okay and then it seems like a lot of work just to get the count working but we'll I'll I'll try and make some arguments like why it's good and how we can easily expand the system to do a lot more and and share state across multiple components and then I think at that point you'll see like the advantages to redux okay so anyway thanks for watching